Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today we are back to talk about Team of the Week. It does come out every week on Tuesday as long as... Uh, the Mutt team is up and ready to go. This is a great time to go out and pull packs, to be perfectly honest, with uh, Simi Watkins being out there, um, being a limited time player, being a solid wide receiver. Another great time is just waiting till uh, Mutt 10 and those Legend packs do come out. They're not quite as good as last year, but they are a good time to go out and pull packs if you are wanting to do that. As for Team of the Week packs specifically, you can go and pull this 30,000 uh, Coin Team of the Week pack. I will show you all what's in that opening one. Hopefully we can get a little bit lucky. I have seen um, the higher up end pieces come out of these, but that would be very, very lucky if we would be able to do that. Um, something that was very exciting that um, came with this Team of the Week. As you can see, we just got that 76 overall. So this pack is, well depending on how this goes. Two of the lowest overall cards we could have possibly gotten. So this was absolutely terrible and an absolutely huge loss. Um, as I said, this is a good time to pull packs. No time is ever a really good time to pull packs. Um, they do have those Legend Fantasy packs in because I do not believe they had anything set and they did believe Ultimate Kickoff um, would be coming out. Um, that does look like that's going to be resetting in 21 hours. So that also does make me believe that um, Ultimate Kickoff might not be coming out at 10 a.m. in the morning. It might be something that um, we aim for more of a 3 o'clock in the afternoon release. So that's just something to also keep in mind. I will be talking a little bit more about Ultimate Kickoff. Um, they will be releasing some of those players this evening. And um, for the Masters, excuse me, but everyone will be getting a player for their team. Um, to be honest, um, there wasn't a whole lot um, I wanted to talk about besides that, but hopefully we'll be able to get into some of the players that will be coming out and potentially um, some of what did occur last year. For Team of the Week sets, they are keeping those in. For those um, players that did come out for the preseason as well, um, something that you do want to get done are those challenges that you'll be able to get one of these players. If you get six stars, you only have to get two stars. So if you complete both on super easy or just put it on moderately easy for one, you will be able to get that um, accomplished very easily and then have a player you can then add into these sets. Um, something that is kind of a bad deal is I did get the lowest overall card um, that would go into these sets. Um, so that's not going to help me put any of these together. But as you can see, some pretty solid players did come out. Um, the stack Preds Prescott, excuse me, and Lamar Jackson were both quarterbacks that quite a few people did want. So I am excited that those people did get their quarterbacks. Um, Case Keenum honestly didn't play bad either. Um, if they do come out and get a win um, in the near future, we might be getting a higher version of him, maybe in the 80 overall range. So helping that theme team for the Redskins get a little bit better. Um, but besides that, very excited about these players. I really think these players are players that you can come out and actually play with this year. Um, again, these sets are the same um, for each the offense and the defense. You'll need the same players to complete the entire set. I do want to go and look at the actual price for Lamar Jackson at this point. A lot more people will be pulling packs the first day for these particular players, trying to get the rare player at their highest value. But um, also the second day, the players are a little bit less wanted um, by people making videos like myself or um, just wanting to go out and play with them the first day. So these players will be a lot less valuable as time goes on. 288000 and Lamar Jackson is at 370000 which is far less than I had seen yesterday. So that is exciting to see. He is a very fast quarterback. His throw under pressure and throw on the run are both 
actually very, very high rated stats. The one thing that is a knock on him for me is that throw power. This is a player that I am going to um, be invested in and potentially get as his price goes down even more. But that is something that I will consider at another time as I have two quarterbacks at 90 overall right now. And some other players, as you can see, I am still at 88 overall. I have a little bit of work to do with the rest of my team getting them to that 90 overall level. The next thing I did want to discuss were these rookie premier players. A couple of them did get those upgrades with that team of the week, which all these players will be getting upgrades as they get an upgraded card, no matter which program it does come from. Um, that might not necessarily be true for the fantasy player, which the Sammy Watkins was. Um, before this Hawkinson and Marquise Brown, they got nice upgrades for my team, so very excited to get them in the range of starting to play. I really like a good uh, run blocker from my tight end as they most of the time play on the end of the line. Um, also like a good pass blocker as I'm starting to block them a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, um, I do have a few tight ends that can pass block a little bit better. But his receiving stats are way, way up there, to be honest, for um, 81 overall, comparing him to Hunter Henry and Burton. Um, they are just different tight ends, but Delaney Walker definitely outclasses him. He is a little bit shorter, actually. Um, so he actually might be a pretty solid wide receiver if you did do this premiere last year. Also, just team of the week. Just a solid player to use in the red zone. Going on to Marquise Brown. Now, I think the fastest wide receiver, um, Tyreek Hill, is not that quick. Um, Torrey Holtz it gets up to 90. Obviously, he doesn't power up since he is the Mutt Master. Do want to look at uh, Tyreek. Um, John Ross also came out with a 91 overall, so he is another speed demon you can consider. Marquise Brown was the number one player on my list for rookie premier players because with that 91 speed, if you can get a step on people, you can get a touchdown, and you can play them on pretty much any team at this point with that 91 speed. Even if he is your fifth wide receiver, that is dangerous to have someone that you can throw streaks with, especially as Gilmore's and even Lattimore start to get tired. He can out... Uh, run any of the defensive backs at this point. But that is what we have for Team of the Week. Just given a brief update on the different things that did come with that. Very excited this Marquise Brown and Hawkinson are starting to get upgrades. Kyler Murray, uh, to be honest, is the one that I'm most excited about. I want to run around with him and have a good time at quarterback. And that also would cost me quite a bit less um, to not invest invest, excuse me, in Michael Vick um, even more than I already have um, with that left-handed quarterback. But I wish you all the best, and hopefully your team got a few players. The Ravens, I believe, got three, so that is just absolutely tremendous. So wish you all the best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantain channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. There will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish Ranting. Take care and much love, everybody.